Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Huge announcement about Supreme Court justice successor means major change for America. The Democrats think that the choice for the next Supreme Court justice is all on President Trump. They couldn't be more wrong. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is in effect the one who will decide how this goes in the end to replace Justice Anthony Kennedy and the left is in a panic over it. McConnell just made a huge announcement that the next justice will be seated this fall before the midterm elections. The wailing and gnashing of teeth shook Capitol Hill after that statement. With this SCOTUS choice, the Supreme Court will swing conservative for a very long time. It means major changes for America which include the possibility of overturning Roe v. Wade. Justice Kennedy announced his retirement Wednesday of this week. It will be effective on July 31st. He's stepping down after more than three decades on the court. He started out as a conservative and wound up as a swing moderate on the court. President Trump would like to see someone nominated who could be on the bench for 40 or 45 years. Justice Anthony Kennedy, a very special guy, just announced a little while ago, his retirement from the United States Supreme Court, Trump said at a rally Wednesday night in North Dakota. We have to pick one that's going to be there for 40 years, 45 years, we need intellect, we need so many things. So many elements go into picking a Supreme Court justice. Trump's top five on his list are rumored to be, Black Square, Brett Kavanaugh, 53, of Maryland, a U.S. judge with the Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia, Black Square, Thomas Hardiman, 52, of Pennsylvania, a third U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals judge, Black Square, Amy Coney Barrett, 46, of Indiana, a seventh U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals judge, Black Square, Amul Topper, 49, of Kentucky a jurist on the 6th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, Black Square, Raymond Kethledge, 51, of Michigan, a 6th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals judge. But what has the left really scared is that Trump may pick one of the Lee brothers from Utah. Senator Mike Lee, 47, is a constitutional originalist. One of the strongest in the country. The only reason he may not get picked is we need him in the Senate. His brother, Thomas Lee, 53, is also a strong possible candidate and another constitutional originalist. I'd take either one. These guys would swing the court back to what it was meant to do. Uphold the Constitution. We will vote to confirm Justice Kennedy's successor this fall," McConnell said on the Senate floor after the news broke. Social media had a meltdown with leftists screaming over this. It was fun to watch. Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley echoed the expectations that the nomination process would begin soon. For more than three decades, Justice Kennedy served with great distinction on the Supreme Court of the United States, the Iowa Republican said in the statement, according to CNN. I expect the president will soon nominate someone for the Senate to consider. I encourage the president to choose a nominee with the credentials, intellect and commitment to the rule of law necessary to serve on the Supreme Court. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer took to the floor of the Senate and to Twitter to raise the alarm. Harry Reid did away with the filibuster in 2013 in order to help Democrats at the time. That change now allows a nominee to be approved by a simple majority and the minority party can't do anything to filibuster or stop it. Right now, the Republicans have that advantage with 51 seats, Democrats only have 49 seats. Conservatives owe Reid a big thank you for his misstep here. It's called the nuclear option. McConnell warned the Democrats back in 2013 that if they changed the rule, they would regret it. You'll regret this, and you may regret this a lot sooner than you think. McConnell had said almost prophetically on the Senate floor. And those chickens are now coming home to roost over the Supreme Court vacancy. Basically, all the Democrats can do is try and peel away Republican votes here and I don't think that's going to work this time. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer revealed how desperate the left is when he tried to invoke a novel interpretation of the Biden rule. Schumer said, our Republican colleagues in the Senate should follow the rule they said in 2016, not to consider a Supreme Court justice in an election year. That was said by McConnell when Obama's nominee Merrick Garland was blocked. That applies to nominees in a presidential election year, not to votes in a midterm election year. Schumer demanded that McConnell not be able to schedule a vote in any election year. Sorry, that's not going to float this time. Schumer argued that it was extremely hypocritical if they voted on a nominee in this year, saying they should wait until 2019. He is hoping that the Democrats would have the majority by then. There's no way that's going to happen. Schumer needs to be reminded that the Senate voted to approve Elena Kagan in August of 2010 in a midterm election year. McConnell said, We are going to vote on the nominee this fall. President Trump will choose from his original list of 25 choices. The same one that gave us Neil Gorsuch. 
I really hope he picks one of the Lee brothers. My popcorn is ready to go. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.